morning. <coughs> Spray too much perfume, goodness. Um, it's Friday morning and it's been a long old week this week. Been really busy after work and not getting to bed early and because of my big weekend last weekend and I'm old and recovering. Um, so I'll be glad for tomorrow morning. This weekend, um, tomorrow, I'm seeing my bra bridesmaid, bridesmaid and her sister for some drinks and dinner. But I'm really, really planning on not going overboard. And then Sunday, Alex and I are babysitting for my sister. Alex is working in the morning, so I'm planning on having a lion and a tidy up because like my clothes are everywhere. I mean, I'd be a complete pig and I've done nothing because A, I haven't had the energy and B, the inclination. So that's that. Um, but Alex was supposed to give one of his work colleagues an invitation, wedding invite, and he hasn't done it. And um, so I've got to make another one and because he doesn't know where it is and he's going to come and see me at work and, and um, get it off me but praise that it's a quick day today because no one likes a long Friday do they? So it took me a while to find the invites but they're actually quite complicated because we have um, I have envelopes here that say my name and address on it and inside we have the we have the RSVP cards which cool. And then I put in um, this I got from Paper Chase. I made these on Vista Print and designed them. Um, this I got from we got from Paper Chase, and I put that in there so that they know to send it back. And then this is the invitation. Um, we had personalised stamps with Heidi's photo on. They were really cool. Uh, do I have a, did we keep one? We did keep one um, to put in the scrapbook. God knows where it is, but it's probably, oh, here it is. Uh, hold on. There it is. So the one on the right is um, the Penny Black, which is a real stamp. And then the one on the left is Heidi, our initials and our wedding day. And then on the back of the big, big envelope, we put, put that. So that's cool. So there's many parts to it, but we don't have any more Heidi stamps. So, and I don't actually have any stamps on me, thank you about it. So we're not going to do that. Also, we got this for the wedding day. It's um, Ring Toss by Sunny. I think I might have shown this to you before from John Nairs. Alex and I played it, it's really cool. And it's a small compact game to take up. And then I got these um, pearl hangers from Primark. Four pounds each, and they are for the bridesmaid dresses and potentially my wedding dress. I don't know what type of hanger that comes on. So yeah, I'm going to put all this together, and Alex can get it from me from work. Okay, so now I've destroyed the walk-in wardrobe as well. Um, it's a big old mess. While I was trying to find the invitations, now I'm going to go to work. Now I've done a destroyer, and I don't know. I know his colleague's name. I don't know his surname or his wife's name. So I'm just going to leave this blank for Alex to fill in. Anyway, I'll see you later. Can't wait till I see you because it means it's the weekend. I know this is going to seem like deja vu, but I ordered a couple more Azos's, Azos package. And look how similar this package is. Look how similar this package is. So these were trousers that I don't like. These are shorts that are cool, a top. A shirt. I mean, was I going for a theme? And then I've got another box. I bought loads of t-shirts for Alex. Um, I just need to try on. But I won't show you everything because I feel like we went through that last weekend. And, you know, the same. <clears throat> Sameies. I've just woken up. It's 8am, um, so apologies. But I've got a lot to do today. I just thought I'd show you what Alex is keeping from Alsace because the stuff I'm keeping I've already packed away. He is keeping this t-shirt. 
in this t-shirt. This is £6.50 from Azos, reduced from like 25 or 30 It's the hibiscus flower from Hawaii. And this one. So he's got lots of, that's the one he got last week. Lots of tropical stuff. This is new, but it wasn't from yesterday. And the stuff I'm sending back. I got this t-shirt for Alex, but it's actually, it's really big because it's supposed to be big. It's supposed to be bigger formed. And um, I love it, but it just looks ridiculous on him. But when I wear, the, wear it tucked into jeans or something, it's fine. I really like these shorts, but um, I'm debating whether to get them in a smaller size. So I don't know about that. This white denim skirt um, was a bit see-through, unfortunately. I'm really looking for a denim skirt. And then I think I showed you the other stuff I'm sending back. I um, can't remember what these were. I think these were, I think these were trousers. Yeah, I think I showed this to you. And then some white beach shirt. And the sunglasses because they were bent. Which is, yeah, so there we go. Um, I've got loads to do today, so I've got to wash my hair. And then um, I've started doing a load of laundry. I've got to tidy up. It's so, it's just a big old mess. Um, and I'd quite like to film at least one Disney video today. And I need to get ready and go out with my friends. And Alex is at work, so it's a good opportunity for me to just blitz things when I'm on my own. First up, wash hair, do face mask do my toenails, done my fingernails, um, yeah, that's all I've got to do. I've just come out of the shower. I'm wearing a um, strapless dress, before you think I'm not wearing anything. Um, so I've done one load of laundry, it's ready to come out, washed my hair, wiped my teeth, done my face mask, and creams. And I think I'm going to hang the, the shopping, the laundry up outside because it's going to be a nice day. Alexa, play some Hawaiian music. Playing Hawaiian music. Oh, and also, if you're wondering where Heidi is, sorry, like behind me, um, Heidi's gone on holiday with my parents to the Lake District, so no Heidi this weekend and possibly not next weekend either. Boo. Got another RSVP for the wedding! Really lost you guys. I literally couldn't find you for 10 minutes. 10 minutes of looking. Um, anyway, I'm still still wearing my strapless dress and um, still tidying. And I think I'm doing really well. It's quarter to 12. So I feel like I want to enjoy the sun for an hour or so. So I might just carry on for 15 minutes and then, um, you know sunbathe for an hour and then carry on but I just want to show you my next dilemma so um, I bought some mugs there's two chip blown bubbles thumper and then we got these um, we got flounder who actually is a little bit freaky looking but sort of cute and we got these um, mr. and mrs. Mickey Mouse his and hers um, mugs as well. These are all from Primark, but basically, I'm, I'm really getting quite a mug, a mama mug, a mug collection going on. It's on um, these two shelves, this shelf, and I have started to go at the back there. And I just these are mugs that I love, but I just can't bring myself to use yet. So I've sort of started a mug collection, which is my favourite. But I don't know where I'm going to put this stuff. I've just got to cram it in. I do have... I thought I bought two chips blowing bubbles because I sort of wanted to use one for everyday life. But I can't see where he is. So that leads me to think... Oh, is he there? At the back? Yeah, I think he is actually. Yeah, so now I did. Let's double check. Yeah, he is at the back, so I did buy the other one. So I'm gonna um I'm gonna use him. Or or not. <laughs> I don't know. Um I might have to put people on top of my nail varnish box that I never ever use, and that's definitely a project. That box at the back there is filled with nail varnishes that I'm not currently using. 
Um, not currently, I haven't used probably in over a year, two years, so they're probably sticking goopy, but it's just something I can't really be bothered to do. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's the next the next bit and then um, I think and then I think I'll take a break not that this is going to take millions of miles long is it I'll tell you so. still procrastination is the form of tidying Flander made it front row I think those look cute and Tumps at the back so I'm gonna have a rest in the garden and oh my god look at that dragonfly don't like dragonflies do you know they've got eyes in the back of their head I don't really like any bugs to be honest um I'm gonna paint my nails and do um something on the computer <laughs> can't decide what yet um, but I need to, first off, before I set myself up in the sun, I need to do something about the laundry because I've got more to put on the washing line. But I pretty much filled that up. I feel like some of it was dry, pretty much dry when I took it out of the washing machine. So let's do that first before we break. Why does the sun zap you of all your energy? I feel like it was a bad idea to have a break, a rest in the sun before carrying on tidying. Oh. Um, so I think I'm gonna cool down inside for the last five or 10 minutes of my break till half past one and then continue. I don't know where Alex is, he said he'd be home by one but Alex is notoriously late and whenever he says he's gonna be a certain amount of time I usually double or treble it so no change love him but timekeeping not his forte but we we all have our things I've got loads a lot but timekeeping's not one of them um so I've just heard from Alex it's 10 past two so not too bad I have missed him so I'll be glad to have him home but I thought while I was chilling with some air conditioning, I would attempt to curl my, I'm still wearing my dress. It's really fallen down, but it's still there. Let me pull it up so you guys don't think I've been naked all day, because I literally haven't. I literally haven't. Um, so I've just attempted to curl my hair, and what I learned about curling your hair is that when your hair is still hot, you should leave it like all scrunched up, and when it's still looking a bit crap, because it's still heated while it's still hot your curls are still forming and then once they're really cooled down then you can um, brush it and style it and whatever and the, the waves will stay longer you can even use like the cold blaster on your hair dryer um, but yeah so I might um, I don't know whether to start putting my makeup on. I'm gonna meet my friend at five and it's 10 past two, a fly just flew past me. So I don't know, I don't know whether to put my makeup on because then I can film a Disney video. I don't like putting makeup on too early, but when I'm going out, so it's a dilemma really. All the dilemmas of today. Um, actually, now that I've thought about it, Alex is on his way home. So I might, I might try and tidy up a bit more before he gets back, so you know. That's always nice, nice surprise, isn't it? I can't remember when I last spoke to you guys, but um, Alex is home, my camera's not focusing, and I decided to do my makeup a couple of hours early in the end. I still haven't brushed my hair, because it's still forming into a big knot. Uh, um, I can sort it out, it's fine. And I filmed two Disney videos, but I always feel a bit cheaty wearing the same outfit in multiple Disney videos. But um, I didn't want to mess up my hair, so even more than this knotty thing here. So I haven't. I do apologise. And I'm really excited to meet my friend. I wasn't really into it because um, I, you know, when you've got so much to do at home. I know this is going to sound really harsh. Like I really want to see her. It's not not that. And she's one of my bridesmaids and her sister, um, who is lovely. And I went to. The reception of her wedding and her hen party actually um so i it's not that i don't want to see them i absolutely adore them both but 
you know when you just are so busy in the week and then when the weekend comes you sort of like a bit of time to decompress and catch up on things and because we're babysitting a lot tomorrow I just felt like there's other stuff that I need to do but I think I just need to learn to chill out and things will just get done when they get done like I pretty much did most of the tidying that I wanted to do there's a lot that I can't that Alex is gonna have to do I feel like I talk to you guys a lot in my wardrobe I really do <laughs> this is where I open up to you and um, oh actually I did want to tell you something uh, so basically all of a sudden I I'm really I'm really excited to meet and have a couple of cocktails and a nice dinner with them I'm actually really looking forward to it so what I wanted to say is I'm gonna do another like YouTube series I wanted to do videos on my wedding I've always said that um, but I was just gonna do like fun videos and informational videos and I'm I am gonna do that as well but also what I've realized is that planning a wedding can be so friggin' stressful. And I've always heard that, but never really believed it because my first year of planning was pretty easy. But these, this year of it, so, so far six and a half months, I've found it really upsetting in places. And when I've spoken to other friends that have got married, one girl I've got super close with, um who got married last year and we've always been good friends but you know we just bond that bit extra which is amazing but um she like i've been speaking to her about a lot of anxiety i've had towards the wedding and other things that have gone on that have just been really really tough and she's totally been amazing and told me that she went through the same thing and then i've got another friend who just got engaged and she's already feeling the stress which i feel like is <laughs> two weeks in is not cool but um stuff she was saying like I directly felt and had the same experience and I feel like a lot of people do but no one really appears to talk about it um some of the issues that I've had so I think I'm going to do um and I'm going to call the videos I love I can't wait to get married but and then whatever and then some of them are going to be really fun and because like most, I am feeling very positive and happy about getting married um, but sometimes it's easier to focus on the negative and I don't want to do that but um, I just think maybe if I talk about some things people can share with me their experiences and make me feel better and maybe other people going through the similar things and it might make them feel better to know that others go through it too um, but I am going to do other fun videos like um, you know what we're going to put in our selfie booth uh selfie booth photo booth and um the reason why i called it that is i'll explain in the video but and um like we're getting our guests hotel gift baskets because we're all staying in the hotel and i just thought it'd be a nice little extra thing so i'm going to show you that stuff and just like and just general stuff like that so it'll be a real mix of things i won't do it every week oh like next week alex and i are going to do our gift registry so i will film that and that will be one video and hopefully that hopefully that will be fun although my friend said that it was dire when she did it with her now husband and they had to do it like three times but i feel like um i don't feel like that's going to happen with us but you never know we never know so we're going to do that but i hope you guys see it and enjoy it and um yeah um so i'm going to I'm going to finish getting ready. Um, I'm almost ready. I just need to do my hair and decide what bag and shoes I'm going to take and wear. And um, I want. I need to do something else, and I I generally can't rem remember. New. No. Hello. Today's Sunday morning, and I'm vlogging because um, I didn't finish yesterday, and um, so I thought I would just today. So I went out with my friend last night. Her sister didn't come because she has babies and her husband wasn't very well or something. I think she was a bit annoyed actually that she didn't get to come out. But me and my friend had the best time. It was really lovely. And I had quite a few cocktails and they were really good cocktails. But I'm actually feeling fine today. I'm feeling like cool. Um, but it's like, uh, quarter to 12 we've just been chilling we've been gladiators on now tv oh, and i watched hercules this morning um but we 
are babysitting my sister's kids this afternoon so I thought I would just get in like half an hour of sunbathing and um, and just chill out because have a nice coffee and just chill. But I wanted to show you guys this thing here. Um, I got it from ASOS. It's like a body shimmer thing because I'm all about the highlighter and the shimmer at the minute. And this smells really good and it's biodegradable, so fish friendly if you wear it in the water or you wash it off in the shower and it just, yeah, it looks really nice and it's quite subtle, I think. So if you're looking for some sort of shimmer, it was really cheap as well, it's five pounds. I can't remember if we told you that we were getting HelloFresh. They were doing a deal where you could get HelloFresh for half the price for two weeks, so we did that. And I think this is our third week, so we've paid full price for this. But um, we, we have cancelled it actually because we, we're really busy after work at the minute and um, we just aren't cooking the meals or last week we, only, we didn't cook one of the meals so it's just a bit of a waste I think. Um, well it is a waste and because a lot of it is fresh vegetables it, you can't freeze it like you could freeze the... Um, the meat but we didn't because we were silly um i think literally next week we're busy alex is pumping out the paddling pool for the kids we're busy um pretty much every night after work apart from tomorrow night monday night um but we will use this or alex certainly will because he makes stuff for lunch and then he has it for lunch at work the next day Whereas I'm doing like, my shakes, so I don't need the lunch anyway. But should we see what's inside, what they've sent us? So if no one knows, I have to say the meals are really good. They're really yummy. And I definitely recommend it if you don't have a busy lifestyle. Or probably even if you do have a busy lifestyle, but we're just not gonna be at home for the next few weeks really. So one meal we've got, so basically we went for, because um, we don't really enjoy cooking, we went for three meals for four people so we could just reheat the meal up the next day and that would effectively be six meals. But this is a classic sausage burger with, I think, like lentils or something, that actually looks really good. And chicken rigatoni, again that looks really good, creme fraiche tarragon and chicken, that looks yummy. All looks really yummy. And honey mustard sausages. I think that's good because it's barbecue season. It's gonna be a heat wave this week. But they they have colour codes. If you don't know how HelloFresh works, they have colour codes here. Or where are they? Yeah, there. So this one's purple. And that one's green. And then they colour code the bags up to the ingredients. And you can just keep them all together. Um, and they keep all the cold stuff in like this freezer bag so you do have to go through it and um, separate it out but it's so cold in here it would last all day if it was left out of your house probably not during the heat wave but that's why we get it delivered on a Sunday because we're usually in on a Sunday creme fresh. yeah it's cool it's really good I definitely recommend it 100% literally just Alex are getting busy at the minute with wedding prep and plus because I've been revising for my exam I haven't really seen anyone for a long time just catching up and summer always brings work events so that's why I'm wearing my strapless dress again by the way um so yeah I'm gonna put this away and then I'm gonna relax on the sun lounger for half an hour or so Alex is making a water park for the kids oh we're doing two Paddling pools. Have a cross. I'm not going to fill them up too much. And then this guy. I got Alex that as a thank you for being good to me when I was revising my exam. I don't know why. <laughs> it's from Sunny Life. You plug in the hose there and then it squirts out water out of his head, which is quite cool. Um, we're missing a part of that, which is a shame, but usually Alex and I like to sit in the, um, the pools when they're hot. But, um, I 
think the kids will like it, although I'm not sure my niece likes water, but we'll see. It's too nice to be inside, I think. And then our big umbrella that we got in the sale, which is really nice, offers a lot of shade. And that's a shower. Um, so yeah, what I thought I would do, I'll show you. I thought I would do a kind of a den thing and hit blankets and cushions and pillows on the floor and just try and make a cool den. And then maybe after we've finished playing in the garden, we can just chill out and watch the Greatest Showman. Do you think that's that's acceptable? All right, this is the fort. It's pretty big. It's not my best work. So Alex is just working on sealing the gaps. But we'll put some toys in here. Or not. Might be a big letdown. They might not give a crap. <laughs> we spent so long doing it. And there we go. There it is. A little bit of lemon in my Coca-Cola. I never make that effort. But I'm going to chill out for a bit before they arrive in an hour. And then there's no chill out time. Actually, I might take this opportunity to say goodbye. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys all had a lovely weekend. Enjoy the sunshine if you had some. If you didn't, hopefully it will come soon. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.